Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where unusually I'm showing you the transport losses screen. I've already fought, um, fought, or ran away from an ambush battle uh, this turn. Um, we did lose four transports in the North Sea. I mean, that's where all of the German fleet is. There's a bunch of mines there. We do have ships there. It's it's just one of those things that, you know, it'll be random. Sometimes we lose the odd transport, um, but most of the time we're not. But look at Germany. They lost one transport in the North Sea, but their empire is suffering 12 transports off West Africa, two in the South Atlantic, five in the Yellow Sea, 10 in the West Indian Ocean, eight in uh, off uh, the North Coast of Australia, four in the Baltic. Oh, that, that is a lot of transports. Uh, 10... Uh, 20, 30, yeah, 35, 36 transports in one turn. Ooh, okay, France and Austria-Hungary. Okay, we're going to have to keep an eye on... No. No. <laughs> no. I don't really care what Russia's up to. I've been like, hey, front, like I'm not. It's also broken my what? It's broken my alliances doing that, but that's fine. We don't need alliances. <laughs> We're already beating the Austro-Hungarians up. Do they even have anything? I oh, know they have. They they've they've re rebuilt a little bit of an eight. We're probably going to end up at war with them soon ourselves anyway, but um. Yeah, I'm not going to war just because Russia says we should. Oh, oh, more transports to get. Yeah, it's good. So we've got the Freya, the lead ship of her class, the Regensburg, the S9, the S10, the S4. Okay. And against them, we have the Pollux. Am I misremembering the ship that got sunk? We lost an armoured cruiser in episode two. I thought it was the Pollock. Oh, I must be wrong. Uh, the Beaufort, the Active, and the Adder. I must have remembered wrong. I'm going to have to watch the episode myself again to <laughs> remember what ship it was. Hmm. Right, let's go. These German armoured cruisers haven't proven particularly effective so far. Uh, especially because uh, 1.3.5 seems to have fixed the issue that the Argonaut class had uh, in that battle in episode 2, where it was firing like. It was going bang, and then with one 8 inch turret, and it was reloading to about a third of the way. And then firing the same turret again, and it was, so it was going like this, rather than firing a full salvo. Destroyers, uh, I want on transport hunting duty, ideally. But seeing as we're just facing the escorts, uh, have your torpedoes on, please. Ah, there are the transports. Lovely. So we can kill the torpedo boats. Nice.
jumping around a bit. Uh, see if you can obliterate the uh, S10. Nice hit. Oh, we hit it with a torpedo, but it didn't explode. Shame. Another flooding hit. Come on, sink please. One kilometer torps. The AI really does not know how to use torpedoes with that shorter range. Oh, there we go. Finally figured it out. Slow down a bit. You're only fighting transports after all. After people have told me multiple times in the comments that I should be slowing down. <laughs> if only a to uh, appease you, dear viewers. There we go. I'm actually bothering to slow down. <laughs> yeah, Cause this is a big convoy much economic damage that we can inflict on uh, Germany, the better. The Pollux is still slowly working her way up. Uh, wondering to engage the armored cruiser because that is also a good priority target. What was that? That was a weird graphical error there. Stuttgart stink sinks. <laughs> Please, if you're if you're watching this in Stuttgart, I, I'm not trying to. Wasn't trying to insult you there. <laughs> no, stumbling over my words.
Don't get that close to them. Shit. And uh takes one. Nine finally sinks. Both for uh, try and get the S four, would you? Oh, flooding hit on the Freya, though. It's not good for them. Taking a little bit of fire from the transports. Still chewing them up fairly effectively, though. To the action, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, both of you are out of ammunition. Just get out of here. You must have had a hit to your magazine or something. Then goes the gazelle. Another flooding hit on the freight. Unfortunately, on a section that was already flooded. Oh, that was a big hit on the S4. Four inch gun. Getting a clean hit. Torpedoes out too. Yeah, people have been saying to me the range found that. Jumps are at the two thousand nine hundred percent. Jumps around like nobody's business. It really does. A couple of, uh, two duds hit the Regensburg. That's unfortunate. damage. 
thing, right? Singlets goes down. Mecklenburg next. Oh, the Freya sinks. Good, good. Free to fire on the light cruiser in that case. Funnel on the S4. Mecklenburg goes down. Uh, I'm just going to order the active to retreat, I think. She's done her job. it on the torpedo boat. She might flood out and sink from that. Certainly very damaged. Regensburg at 18 knots uh, is very slowly going to get caught <laughs> by the bollocks. Very slowly. None of my destroyers have any uh, torpedoes left, so they're not going to be much use. Wonder, can I get both four inch guns the front firing? Don't think so. Oh, flooding, that'll do it. Yeah, your fate is sealed, Regensburg. 18 knots, 17 knots. Good amount of flooding. Just the uh, kindness of sinking, please. Thank you. Well, that was a bit of a disaster for the Germans. That is an awful lot of transports sent to the bottom, plus the escorts as well. Um, in what's pretty a pretty even fight, a uh, heavy cruiser and a light against a heavy and three destroyers when they have three torpedo boats. Oof. Right, next fight. Next up, we have Priasus and Vindictive against the, the Princess Wilhelm, uh, the Bremen, uh, three torpedo boats, and, most importantly, 15 transports. So they lost 36 in the pop-up. They lost 13 in that last battle. And they're about to lose another 15. Meaning that they're basically going to lose, what, 50 plus transports in one turn? That is, um, that is, that, that's a lot. Like, oh, what did I just do? 
detach. Head towards the enemy, please. What I might start doing, actually, is start moving all of these uh, slower. Uh, the Tribune class and the uh, Argonauts. I might start moving them to other parts of the Empire. Um, because really the battle cruisers should be doing this. Battle cruisers could do this much more effectively. Um, so we want to be using, utilizing those ships more and these less. And these guys can just go and sit you know, in, I don't know, the Eastern Indian Ocean and sink hundreds of <laughs> transports without having to go to the bother of doing it on the battle map. Wow, we are getting some long-range fire in. I think we're just hitting things by accident, but, um... Yeah, those poor transports are getting, uh, pretty savagely wrecked. Approaching, oh no, light cruiser. Already smashed up beyond belief. Alright, now watch as the vindictive turns on the transports with all those three inch guns. hitting each other with their own guns. <laughs> I don't even think they're armed. No. That would be funny. <laughs> For me. But, uh, yeah. That's, that's, that's a whole whole bunch of very sunk transports all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. And this one, the Württemberg... <laughs> She just magically faster? Nope, she just started really. Wow! What a shot! Good blooming snipers! Absolute snipers! I can't be bothered chasing, finding the heavy cruiser or the torpedo boats. I'm just happy to sink those uh, transports. Lovely stuff. Right, I'm going to. Off camera, I'm gonna. Start moving the Argonauts and the Tribunes away from the UK, um, just in general, and uh, I will see you in the next turn. Right, welcome back. Um, all but, I think, the Pollux, because she was in for repairs for a month. Uh, all, all the heavy cruisers um, have been dispatched. However... The uh, Mark Graf, which is a Norwegian battleship. I think this is, however, the same German design that we have seen. Along with the Blücher, Gneisnau, Princess Wilhelm, which is another Princess Wilhelm, which is Norwegian. The Kohl and the Kohlberg, along with the S7, is guarding 12 transports. So they've really beefed up their... Their convoy uh, <laughs> protection, but uh, aside from the fact that we have four A class, two B, and two B class, and the Pollux, we also have Indomitable and Indefatigable, uh, which you know, it's, it's, hmm, 
They're a little bit more advanced. Just a little bit more advanced than what the Germans have here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. Yeah, these two things. I mean, look at them compared to the armoured crews of the Pollocks. 21 and a half knots, these guys. 25 and a half. Pollocks, uh, eight, eight inch guns. These guys, six, 13 and a half inch guns. Scary, scary stuff. <laughs> right, let's go. Maybe the Mark Graf isn't the German design that we've seen before. That profile looks different. Germany, where have you been hiding these? That's actually a dreadnought. Why <laughs> Why did you build one for Norway and not any for yourself? What are you thinking? A six... No, sorry, no. Eight. 13 and a half inch guns? Really? Oh, oh, Germany or Norway. Are you, are you copying our homework? <laughs> you naughty, naughty boys. <laughs> I do like that though, that the AI is using uh, 13 and a halfs. to keep the uh, torpedo boats at bay. Although the secondary guns on the... Oh, did they take a flooding hit? They did. A oh, main deck plane as well. Oh yeah, these things do have terrible deck protection. It shouldn't really be an issue in this era, but it kind of is with how frequently uh, Ultimate Admiral will assign deck hits, even at very, very close range. Oh, Acorn! Good grief, getting deleted. That seems a little unfair. A little bit on the harsh side. Fine, we'll uh, obliterate your, uh, your light squadron here.
these transports hiding? Oh, what a sh... What a salvo from the Pollocks. My goodness, this is me uh, having to go at armored cruisers. And uh, the Pollocks just ripping the... Nice now, a new one. Right, let's have a look at you, Mark Ruff. Yeah, you're using 13 and a half inch guns. I can't see how long because the tooltip's gone off the top of the screen. Uh, 23,800, 53 million each. 24 and a half knots. That's pretty fast for a battleship. Faster than ours. Uh, at least they're using Crypt 2 these days, though. Ah, yeah, that's halfway decent. An 8 inch caseman and an assortment of smaller guns. Um, turbines, good, good. This is a good ship. Why aren't you using this more? That's an actually good full on battleship. There are the transports. Ugh, had a Nice. That was a pretty savage hit. Oh, they got the bow foot. Hit you. Uh, 4.7 inch gun from the battleship. Well, destroyers do be sinking. can continue to keep the battleship occupied. Meanwhile, Argyle, uh, Ada, you're on retreat directly into the transports, which is fine, but Barfleur, you can... Oh, target locking. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Thankfully, the torpedo boat is still there. Use it to uh, fix that particular problem. A Markroff is going that way. It's not ideal. Still that light cruiser out there. Ah, how? Secondary guns need resetting as well. There we go. Starting to get some hits on the transports now.
flooding hit on the rear there. Peterbates are remarkably resilient. actually <laughs> attempted to shoot at long range. It's pretty good. Miss. Fucking target lock immediately. Right. Light cruiser. Thank you. This is good. Ow! I'm gonna fire one more salvo, then I'm gonna order them to withdraw. Hmm. All miss. Which is just typical. Look, you're supposed to be uh, not doing what the Argyles doing. <laughs> of course, it was a dud. Pretty big flooding hit. The main uh, part of the ship is fine. Oh, did get a hit back though. Right, Argyle, back you come. Please. Full Kurt goes down. off those transports. If we can get uh, Pollock's back to whoa, S7. 
Uh, yeah, that's not good for you. <laughs> uh, exploding torpedo boats. Lovely. All the transports are down. I don't think we're going to sink anything else, but let's uh, try and give uh, the Indefatigable a little bit of cover. She uh, makes her way out of the combat zone. A guile might be able to take out the torpedo boat. Oh, lovely. Goodbye, Kolberg. Yeah, the poor deck protection on these ships is is a known weakness. And I can now say that Yes, you do need deck protection in uh, this era. It's not a case that you can just ignore it. It's not about bombs in this game. It is actually about shells. <laughs> you need to worry about them. Good hits. Another good hit, but on a flooded section. S7 down. All ships disengage. Whilst I love the uh, glory of trying to sink the Markgraf, she's still a fairly effective combat ship. Um, and we don't really want to tangle with it. We don't have any units that can go toe to toe with it. But what an interesting ship. If the Germans had like 10 of these. Oh, would have gone very differently. I think they might have one. They must be building some. But yeah, Norway. Norway with a super dreadnought. Very nice. I think up against one of our own dreadnoughts, I don't think she'll do fantastically well. She does have that speed buff, though. Uh it's got a bit of an offset. Um, she's reduced beam draft ship with cramped quarters, so she might um, she might be uh, vulnerable to multiple smaller hits. Cordite and Dunite, standard, standard. Might be able to flash fire her as well if you can go through uh, her turret armor. There you go, she's disappeared. Well, she can still see us. Uh, and then she reappears, disappears. Still firing on the Pollux. Everybody's uh, sailing away though, so we should be uh, out of sight. There we go, very soon. <coughs> That was a heavily defended convoy, and the convoy is sunk. I can't complain about that. Uh, Beaufort uh, got smacked <laughs> by a 13-inch shell, although I think it was mainly smaller stuff that did her in. Uh, Acorn was the one that was just obliterated. Uh, both did fine. Um, obviously, the uh, this Norwegian ship gets away, but going to have a hefty repair time. 
but yeah, all those transports gone. That is good stuff. That is very good stuff. Uh, right, I think there's one more battle this month. Uh, so I'll load that up and uh, see you in a minute. Uh, it's a proper small-scale action here. The Alarm has found the S6 and the S8 guarding four more transports. Uh, by the way, Germany did again this turn lose a whole bunch of transports in uh, in the lost transport pop-up thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still, I'm uh, pretty pleased with how the fleet is doing. We're really inflicting a lot of damage uh, on the German uh, Empire here. Destroying a lot of their transports. Um, which does have a really long-term effect because... Uh, they, they have to replace the transports, which costs a lot of money. Um, and it also puts a negative on their overall GDP, um, which can have long, like a long-term effect. Like, if we can keep the war up and we can sink hundreds of transports, um, that will set Germany back for years. Which is exactly what we want to try and pull off. See, look, there is an AI ship with the target lock bug. Okay, it's a transport, but yeah. Ladder aiming stuck at 0%. Oh, uh, may, might be fixing itself now. Nope, negative. I think the Amazonia will sink on its own now. Maybe not. Not a guarantee. Frankfurt? No, I think the Amazonia is uh, fine. We'll have to come back for her. these supposed torpedo boats are. Not taking part in this battle, it would seem. off the Amazonic. Accelerate back up to flank.
Got them. Surrendered right before they sunk. Fine. End battle. Thank you very much. And we're also going to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.